Tried upgrading your older PC to Windows 11 only to see the frustrating message, this PC can't run Windows 11? Maybe your system doesn't have TPM or is running on an older CPU. Don't worry, I'll show you a simple way to skip the hardware checks and install Windows 11 without using any third-party tools. Let's jump right in. Before we dive in, I want to point out that installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware could mean missing out on future security updates if Microsoft decides to strictly enforce hardware requirements. Also, make sure to back up any important files before you begin the upgrade process. With that said, let's get started. First, we'll head over to the official Microsoft website to download the Windows 11 ISO file. I'll leave a link in the video description so you can grab it easily. When you reach the Windows 11 download page, scroll down to the Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO section. From there, choose Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO and hit Download Now. Next, pick your preferred language and region. For me, that's English, United States, but you can select whichever applies to you. After confirming, simply click the 64-bit download button and you're all set to kick things off. On the occasion of this video, I will help a friend of mine install Windows 11. First, we need to find the Windows 11 ISO file we downloaded. Most likely, it's in your Downloads folder just like mine. Once you locate it, right-click on the file and choose Mount. Then, click Open to mount the ISO file. Pay close attention now. This is an important step. Be sure to note what drive letter your ISO file has been given. My drive letter here is E, but yours could be D, E, F, or something different. So remember what your drive letter is. You can close out this Explorer box. Next, we need to open the command prompt, but make sure to run it as an administrator. To do this, type command in the search bar. Then on the right-hand side, select run as administrator. If a confirmation window pops up, just click yes to proceed. Now that our command prompt is up, let's type the following command. And this is where your mounted drive letter comes into play. Go back and check your drive letter if you forgot. Again, my drive letter was E, so I'll type E colon and hit enter. Next, we're going to modify the Windows 11 installer just a bit. This will allow us to bypass some of the Windows 11 hardware requirements. It's a very easy command, so let's get to it. In the command prompt, type setup.exe exe space ward slash product space server space slash compat space ignore warning space slash migrate drivers space all and hit enter. When the installation starts, you might see a message saying it's installing Windows Server. Don't worry, it's not actually installing Windows Server. This is just part of the workaround that bypasses the hardware requirements. The installer will match your current version. For example, if you're on Windows 10 Home, it will upgrade to Windows 11 Home. Now, let's click Next to continue. Just like the street lights lit this time. Click Next. Everything's set for the upgrade, so let's go ahead and click Install. I sped up the process in this video, but on this PC it only took about 30 minutes. Hopefully this guide helped you get Windows 11 running on an older PC that doesn't meet the official requirements. If it worked for you, let us know in the comments. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for more Windows tutorials. That really helps us out. See you in the next one, and thanks for tuning in.